Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching today. First things first, we are going to be talking about five tips and also ways to help you guys in putting together your home theater and also improving your home theater itself. So let's go to that intro. So first things first, we are going to talk about speakers. So the speakers themselves are one of the most important features that can be involved in our home theater system. It can be even for something in your living room to an actual dedicated theater room itself. So when we're talking about speakers, it can be how many speakers that you need or how many speakers you may want, of course. We have, you can do anything from a stereo setup with a subwoofer, 2.1. You guys can also have maybe a 5.1 channel, uh, channel speaker setup, even a 5.2, which means you have two subwoofers. And also you can have 7.1 to 7.2, and of course from there you can go from 9 channels, 11, way up from there. So it really just depends on your type of setup and your type of system. So once you've finally decided if you can place um, more or less speakers, the first things first is talking about the speaker size themselves. If you have a small room, you really do not need anything larger you know, than most average speaker pairs that you can buy at the store themselves. So like my room, you can see in this vast room here, this room is it's still a very big room, but it's nice because I have floor standing speakers in the front which can really help drive um, bass. They have four different um, drivers in them and also a uh, tweeter inside. And of course your center channel which is going to push a lot of that uh, center speakers and get that out um, a lot better to make it sound much, much better. All that can really play a major role in your speaker system and your home theater itself. So after summing that up with the speakers, the next thing I want to talk about is going to be your TV or a projector setup for your home theater system. So this can be a very serious thing. So if you actually want to have a home theater um, projector system within a room, you got to talk about the lighting. Can your room accommodate the lighting or do you have a lot of windows in the room? They can really affect the way that the projector performs. Or are you going to get a projector that can play in uh, a very bright room? Like my room currently is a very dark room because of the dark color that I put in here. It was actually like a lime green color. So you can really tell the difference between a lime green and of course this really dark gray. And of course all the light coming from my window, I have a, one of those shades you can pull down and it blocks all the light out of the window. And of course I have black curtains. So of course when I'm ready to play a movie, I can just put those curtains down and all the light will basically be blocked so I can see the movie on the projector. And of course, right up there, the W1070 is a very, very good performer when it comes to lighting. So you can still play even with the lights on, but of course, why would you want to put your lights on if you have a projector? Turn, them, turn the lights off, get your speakers going, crank it up and watch a good movie in the dark. That's of course, like all projectors and all different kinds of movies you're gonna be playing. So what about the TV? Make sure when we decide about a t if we're going to get a TV over a projector or we're going to have such a TV inside of a maybe a living room, um, you can choose the different size of TVs. You've got to make sure that the right size for the room and the viewing distance is correct when you're going to purchase a TV. And of course you can go 4K, you can go HD, it just depends on what you're looking for. Most um, um, TVs now have uh, 4K upscaling or you can buy a true 4K setup. Um, and also with projectors, projectors are starting to get um, better now and 4K is becoming a lot cheaper. So maybe I'm going to have a video on that, of course, on me maybe upgrading this W1070 to a, another 4K projector. So that would be a, another upcoming video, hopefully soon in the near future. So when it comes to the TV and a different projector, of course, there's many things to decide in. And you can hopefully figure out exactly which one you may want. And of course, if you need help, just put the comment down below and I can answer your questions about anything with those current things when it comes to speakers and also the TV or projectors. Our third tip is going to be about the receiver. The receiver is another 
very important factor about your home theater. I'm not just the speakers. The speakers, of course, are a very important factor, but the receiver is a very, very important piece of equipment, especially for your home theater to sound the way it's supposed to. So you're not just going to go to the store and buy a speaker system that's maybe all put together for you. Um, for some different situations, that may be very good for, uh, I guess, something to start with. That's very good. But of course, if you're going to be doing something with a home theater in a nice room, you want to make sure you're buying a nice receiver that can process the right amount of power to those speakers. So you can look at the ratings of those speakers, make sure that the receiver um, will allow that much power to drive those speakers. And maybe you might have to eventually get a nice receiver that you can put amps on. So of course, you can power those very, very large speakers kind of like my front speakers up here, the big tall speakers. Those can be amplified, um, which will sound a lot better. And of course, they're probably not being utilized correctly, of course, with my receiver. But of course, in the near future, I can get a better receiver so those speakers can perform their top best. And of course, when you're picking a receiver, we have to think about the channels also. Same thing with the uh, different speakers. The receiver needs to be able to output to these different channels. I mean, if you have nine speakers, you're you're going to have to make sure that the receiver can output to nine speakers or nine channels. So we want to make sure that we're doing the right amount of speakers for our receiver. And also you can, you can actually get a receiver that may have 12 channels and only put in seven. So it works um, vice versa. Let's talk about the fourth thing now. What is the fourth thing that we need to make sure our home theater is up to par or are we're building it correctly? That of course is the screen. So we're going to talk about the screen and the screen placement. So this can still be for a TV and also a projector. We have to think about our placement of where we're putting our TV and also our screen, like I have all the way up here. You can't, can't see it, but it's up there. And we got to make sure we're positioning it in the right direction, especially if you have a projector. So when it comes to placing your screen with a projector, make sure your projector is in the center of the screen. It may take a lot of practice, or you can have someone set it up professionally to make sure that your screen and projector is in the right position. So if you don't put the projector screen in the right position, what will happen is, is you're going to start seeing keystone, which that's why a lot of projectors have keystone correction, or also a vertical shift and a um, horizontal shift, so you can move the actual bulb slightly over and slightly this way. So if you place the projector in the wrong spot and you place the screen in the wrong spot, it's not going to be a perfect square. It's going to be a square up top like this. It's going to come down and then it's going to come out wider like that. And then it's going to come in. And of course, you don't want to go this way and then all of a sudden the lines go in. So you're going to have some sort of trapezoid um, figure coming in and it's not going to look good at all. So that's why. And also you got to make sure you see if you can have a keystone correction for your placement. So of course, when it comes to a TV, you want to make sure you're putting the TV in the right spot. If you have a really small TV, it needs to be a little closer. If you have a really big TV, you don't want it right in front of your face where you've got to look your head over here, look your head over there just to see one side to the other. Of course, that would be totally different. Of course, it's a little different when it comes to um, TVs, but when it comes to projectors, it is very, very key that you make sure you have the right um, screen placement. So last but not least, the number five. We are going to talk about speaker placement. We just talked about the TV and the projector placement. Now we're going to talk about a speaker placement. It is another vital key to making your home theater just that ever so closer to sounding the way it is supposed to be. Let's talk about the subwoofer first. The subwoofer needs to be in the right spot so it doesn't sound too boomy or sound just you don't hear it at all so there's another way you can do this is you can actually take the subwoofer and place it in different spots of the room it may be a pain make sure you have time to do it make sure you can have a long enough cord to test it in different spots this will make it much better to where you can find out to make sure that the the speaker or the subwoofer is sounding the way it is supposed to it's not supposed to sound overly boomy, and it's not supposed to sound um, not good enough, basically. You want to make sure it sounds just right and blends with the speakers and the uh, audio just the way it is supposed to. 
So what about the regular speakers? The regular speakers need to be in a position. I have a picture that will show up right now. And it's showing you exactly where my speakers are in the front. So the screen isn't blocking the, the two speakers on the side. And also the center channel is low enough to where it is actually going to be in the right spot. So it's not blocking it. The, the screen is not blocking those speakers. If the screen is blocking those speakers, it's going to make the speakers sound very um, muddled and not loud enough and won't produce the sound that they're supposed to. So that is a very um, important thing you want to make sure. You can make sure the screen is not in the way, or you can purchase a screen that um, lets the sound go through the screen, which is a lot of options that uh, most home theaters have or uh, most home cinema theaters out in the uh, like IMAX and different setups like that. So that's a really good um, thing to make sure you're doing right. But what about the back? When it comes to the back speakers, we want to make sure that those back speakers are in the right position so they're going to be right going into your ears. You want to make sure if you have speakers um, in the middle, middle to back, that they're um, facing sort of the, um, you can have them facing towards in this way, more facing towards me. So you'll have them right in the middle, and they'll be facing right towards the sides. So it's pushing that towards the ears of the sides. And then when it goes to the back, you want to have those back speakers far enough back. See, the problem with my setup here is that I don't have much room to go back. So the speakers are at an angle. You can see in the corners there. They're um, at an angle to where they're hitting the ears from sideways. So they're pretty much directly going into the ears from the sides, but it's not actually going from the back back. So if you have a couch in the, like the middle, you're going to have those two speakers in the middle hitting your ears, and then you can have speakers way behind you facing towards where you're sitting in the chair so you can hear all that surround sound. And of course, if you got far enough in your system to get something really, really nice, you can get speakers in the ceiling and get a Adobe Atmos put in to where you can have a full, full effect um, of, your, of course, the speaker placement and the ceiling correctly, or you can have the Adobe Atmos speakers on the um, it'll be right on the front, fronts of the speakers, right on the top, facing at an angle, and it'll bounce off the ceiling and hit you uh, basically right in the head. Not hit you in the head, but it'll be facing right in your, uh, your face, and you'll hear all the different noises from all the different directions. So these are my tips. And, of course, I can post a whole bunch more tips or say a whole bunch more tips for this video. But if you guys want to find out more information on these uh, on your home theater, your speaker placement, your receivers. It can be anything. Just put it in the comments below. Send me a message and I will answer you back and we'll make sure I get you guys the right help that you guys need for your home theater. Um, stay tuned for more as I start upgrading my system and don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button as it helps me out and it helps me to produce more videos for you guys and of course um, for this channel. So I thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Wow. Stupid thing keeps squeaking.